It's now my pleasure to introduce Travis Dillon, the Managing Director and CEO of Rural Co, who is going to share with us a little bit about what Rural Co are doing. From a personal note, when I was running the Kimberley Pilbara Cattlemen's Association, Travis was a massive supporter of that organisation, so I'm looking forward to hearing from him before Smoko. Thanks. Uh Thanks, Catherine, and, uh, and I literally am the only thing standing between yourselves and a shot of caffeine, so I promise not to uh, keep you too long. Um, so Rural Co are uh, pleased to be sponsoring the, uh, the Congress this year. Um, as Catherine said, I'm the CEO of, uh, of Rural Co and uh, we're the sponsors for this morning's morning tea. Just uh, quickly before breakfast, I'd just like to uh, share with you who Rural Co is. It's not a brand that, uh, that everyone's aware of in, uh, in rural and regional Australia. Um, but also why we believe it's important that, uh, that we're here today. Um, our company is represented nationally through almost 500 locations and we have 50 local regional brands and over 2,000 uh, staff. And the, uh, the logos will come up uh, here in a second, but that's, that's not all. There's another page of uh, smaller ones that we have as well. Our agronomists, rural supply specialists, livestock, real estate and wool agents, along with our water brokers, work with farmers at, at the beginning of the season providing knowledge giving advice, supplying products to maximise efficiency and returns. Through our future farming strategy, Rural Co is investing millions of dollars in regional communities, developing leading ag tech, delivering water infrastructure and creating jobs in the local economies. But really it's what our people do when they're not servicing farmers that's really important to us. Our people are the accidental counsellors. So they know when farmers are doing it tough, uh, they know when their clients need to download and, uh, and our agronomists and livestock agents are, are there for the ones that, uh, that hear it through. Rural recognises that the communities we live and work in need to be strong and resilient and mentally healthy to be sustainable in the long term. That's why for three years uh, we've partnered heavily with uh, Lifeline Australia um, throughout uh, rural and regional Australia to lift the awareness and, and provide training and, uh, and development for our staff and, and also the local communities. At our annual CRT conference, we celebrate the achievements of our businesses in the community with our Community Member of the Year Award. So Rural Coast success depends on being there for Australian farmers and that means acting to support our clients, our communities, through our relationships with Lifeline but also the local efforts and, uh, and achievements through sporting communities and, uh, and local service providers uh, through our, uh, our rural members, uh, the CRT members, and also our own local entities. So I've brought along a short video to outline what uh, the commitment to the local communities looks like for Rural Co. And uh, hopefully uh, it doesn't go for too long and you get in and have the coffee soon. Be sure to grab uh, one of the Rural Co uh, mugs we've got at the, uh, the coffee station. Um, but uh, hopefully this short video will give you an outline of what uh, supporting local communities and the farming uh, community looks like for Rural Co. Thank you. Community spirit's about working together and uh, helping each other out. Community spirit to me is having the passion to be involved. It is about bringing the community together, working together and looking after the community. To be part of a community means that the, uh, the spirit uh, resonates into everyone and makes everyone feel like they're a part of something that's bigger than themselves. It's all about being there when they need you. Our branch has a high level of community activities that we help out with. We support local sporting clubs, local kindergartens, uh, four local show societies. VGA Agri Services help us in a lot of ways with their volunteers, which are very, very much appreciated and also with their prizes that they give at showtime. The support we've been given has helped us bringing agriculture back into the pavilion and also given us a record number of cattle. Our local businesses always support us and BGA is one of those major supporters. In the past years, we've been able to buy new iPads, which is great to bring the technology into the kindy. We also fundraise to put in air conditioners so that in the summer we can be cool while we're learning. The town has given us a lot over the years and I feel that it is our, our responsibility to give a little back. Support from the businesses in town like Haynes Farm Supplies, it's allowed us to make a lot of improvements down on the ground there. It allows us to run a great event and then put back into the town. Without their support, I 
Like we can't run with no sponsorship, we've got no event. Haynes has been there from the start. Without them supporting us and supplying us with financial aid, particularly in the early days, now we wouldn't have been able to buy equipment and pay our insurance. So without their ongoing support, the cost borne by the players would be too great. We've always been able to rely on Haynes to go that extra mile. When we've needed to borrow machinery or to step forward with some extra funds towards something that came up unexpectedly, they've always been there to help us. Everyone supports each other in time of need, cyclones, fires. Yeah, we all uh, just get in and help each other. If it was the cyclone this year, Cyclone Debbie, that the volunteer network for rural fires galvanised itself through the flooding associated with the cyclone and Mount Osa Rural became the hub for the community. So people who had needs, anything from chainsawing to clear roads, through this information to get out to the outside world that they were okay, was provided by Mount Osa Rural. The hours they give and the, the countless support, it's just really hard. All we can do is recognise that they're part of the community and that's what makes them great. The support of our local businesses like Mount Ossa Royal is very important in our area because we get forgotten out in the country area. Town people get all the, the glamour in there and our little area out here we battle on. And Mount Ossa Royal is always very helpful and willing to help in any way they can. Alrighty, thank you very much Rural Co. Give them a round of applause. They're about to fill your veins with caffeine. So I'd encourage you all now, we're running a little bit ahead of time. So if I can ask you to all be back at 10 to 11, um, we'll make up a little bit of time. Enjoy your extra networking. Please ensure that you go to the trade stalls. There is a, um, a poster saying that you assign a pledge to agree, like, to agree to work towards the $100 billion. If that's at the registration desk, if you could go and sign your name um, on that, that would be wonderful. And, um, and enjoy your smoker. We'll see you at 5 to 11.